Hi everyone, I'm so sorry that I haven't been updating my videos. I've been busy watching Glee, Desperate Housewife, Supernatural, and Sex and the City. So yeah, that really keep me busy. Enough all those nonsense. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own makeup palette. The reason why I want to do this is because um, I watch a lot of videos, makeup videos, and they usually have the what? The MAC palette, the Z palette the uni palette, you know, where they deport their eyeshadows and put it into and compare, um, put all the shadows together to make it a very handy travel pack. Uh, I tried to look for the MAC, the palette. I know they can buy it online, but I think it's a bit too expensive for me. You know, I just don't bring that, I just want to keep everything together inside my drawer. Yeah. So, uh, I went to do a lot of, went to search for a lot of things. I thought about how I wanted to eat. And so, what I come up with is, um, I found this metal pencil box from Artbox. It cost me about $6.690. It's really very handy and it's uh, very sturdy, you know, it's very compact. How's it compact? You know, it shuts very tightly. Which, uh, this is what I like about it. I actually also bought uh, this travel card case from Muji. But this is very very expensive. This is actually a cut case, you know, a cut case with mirror, and it costs nine dollars nineteen dollars one nine. I think it's really expensive for something so small. So, but it's too expensive. I don't really recommend buying this one. So after I buy this one, after I bought this one, I found this pencil box, which was like the ideal makeup palette for me. Anyway. Um, other than pencil box, a bit messy here. I also found this. Uh, this is actually a magnetic strip. There you see, it's a magnetic strip. This is the sticker. You peel it up and you can stick it in. So it's actually magnetic. It costs only two dollars. Oh, this is really, really very affordable. And you know, magnetic strip is not something that you can find easily in Singapore. I think because I only find it in Daiso. Yup. So that's about it. Uh, other than this tape, is this uh, this is also a magnetic strip, but this one is more of a stationary kind, not the heavy duty kind. So, as you can see, uh, there's actually a lot of colors to choose choose from. Yeah, so you know you can just peel it out. It's like a scotch tape like that. You just peel it out, tear it, and you can just place it to the tin, to the pot that you want and you can stick it onto the magnetic strip so I thought it's, it's really really very convenient so with your metal casing you measure how long you want it to be so I'm going to go it from one end to the other end like that after I measure it right do the marking okay and then I'll cut it this is actually better also, so you know, it doesn't drop off, you see. Okay, so I'm going to cut two more similar strips like this. See? Just like that. Two more. So now that I have three of them, okay, I'm going to peel off this side. So I'm just going to... There you go. I start to push it all the way up against to the edge. Yeah. So as you can see, I still have a little small area here. So what I'm going to do is cut this into half. Half like this. So now you have a magnetic base for all your deported eyeshadow. Eyeshadows. Right, so I have one here, this is from Benefit, uh, this one I don't really need to put the magnetic, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have to put this sticker because it is magnetic by itself, I can show you, see, doesn't drop off, so it's very cheap, this one plus the sticker plus that one I think it costs less than sing, less than sing $20, yeah, I think I'm very smart, <laughs> yeah, so 
so that's what I want to show you on how to you can make your own makeup palette. You know, it's really cheap and affordable, and you can choose your own design. Yeah, I really like this mommy tape. Yeah, just like me. You know what? I think this tape is bullshit. Yeah, because I tried it on a non-magnetic eyeshadow. The eyeshadow still fall off. So yeah, this is really bullshit, and this actually costs more than the two dollar dime. So I think this cost about cost about six dollars and bought it from popular. Bullshit. Okay, you know what? Maybe not so bushy. Um, and this is the deported Elizabeth other eyeshadow to show that this is not magnetic. See, it dropped. Yeah. So I paste it with this sticker, you know, this little bushy sticker. At first, I tried. I thought it really didn't stick, but I forgot to do the gravity test. So uh, I stick on really. Let's see. See, it doesn't drop anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the six dollar stickers is not so bushy. Okay, but because it didn't feel very, you know, like it didn't really uh, attract to the magnetic. So I thought it was bushy. Yeah, maybe not so bushy. You see. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the little test. Uh, yeah, but you guys can decide if you want to buy this shoe or not because I definitely will be buying it again. And maybe I chose something stronger and cheaper. Bush, bush it. I think this was meant for paper. Yeah, you see, you no know, popular, popular basically sell books and pencils. So I just show you how it looks like in the end. Yeah, no, it's quite sturdy. Yep. And here's the other one. Right, and one more. Yeah, this, this was actually a palette, actually, it was from the Elizabeth Arden, as you can see here. Yeah, but you know, I just accept match. Like I say, you don't need to use Elizabeth Arden to use Elizabeth Arden. You know, we don't really need a um, commercial palette to fit out all our eyeshadow pots or blusher pots, pens, um, you know we can actually DIY many things ourselves so we don't really need to go and specially buy them. Yeah, maybe this one was a wrong purchase though, $19, I don't know what got over me, but I only pay 90 cents because I have vouchers. Yep, okay, um, so I hope you all enjoy my little, oops, little tip, you know, beautiful casing, cheap magnetic strip and you know simple tutorial i hope you guys enjoy and yes please subscribe thank you bye bye